All right, this is the installation kit for the uh, spin on oil filter for the uh, MEP double lot 2A, double lot 3A, and I think it's the 112A. So, oil's already been drained out of this. So, spin this uh, old canister filter out of here. Get that thing out of there, it's junk. Scrap, keep it for later. Alright, after you get the filter tan off, reach in and use my pocket knife, you need to scribe, whatever, but uh, reach in, get the old gasket, get that out of there. Now we're ready to go. Now, myself, I like to uh, clean it up a little bit before I put the new new one in. Clean it up like that. It's your, your choice, but I just like to clean it up. Make sure there's nothing in that groove. And a rag around there. And you're ready to put the, the new kit together. First, you're going to grab your new gasket. Make sure you oil that up before you uh, put it in there. Yeah, the gasket does come with the kit. So, you get the new gasket. Put it in there in the groove. Bring your finger around it. Alright, after you got your gasket in there, make sure it's all in there and square. Uh, grab your plate. If you notice your plate has two holes in it. Uh, the really dish-shaped uh, side of it, or indentation side of it, is the engine side. The side with the uh, shallow indentation just on the center is the uh, filter side. Your plate may not look exactly like this one. But no matter what your plate looks like, it will be built to do the job. So set it in there. Then put your holes so they're at 12 and 6. Set it in position. Grab your fitting. Again, here's your fitting. Your fitting may not look exactly like this one, but uh, the end that has the cone-shaped uh, nipple on the one end, if you will, not the flat square thread. But the uh, cone shape, that is the filter side of the fitting. So, grab that, set that in there, thread it in as far as you can with your fingers, and grab your torque wrench. Have your torque wrench set at 30 pounds. The, uh, the gasket touches down on the plate and then give it all a third half turn whatever feels good just don't crank it on there too hard and there you have it it's been on oil filter kit for an MEP double watt 2A double watt 3A and should be the 112A but we're going to work in the market this for the double watt 2A and 3A and that's it it's just that easy and that fast to get rid of that old canister filter and put the spin on kit on. So, there you have it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thank you.